So being that I own 100% of the company of Winnie and Cat, I'm able to change the rules and to really listen to feedback and do it in a fast way without having to go to a board of directors or investors. And one of the things that I've been considering is how to deal with the clause on policies and procedures that most direct sales companies have about selling other product. Usually a sales consultant isn't allowed to sell two products at one event. And where I agree that it's not ideal and I'd rather a trunk show be solely Winnie and Cat instead of sharing with another stylist or an independent consultant from another company, I realize this happens and we're a social business. I also know that some women sell multiple companies and they treat direct sales as kind of like a shopping mall maybe in their in their homes. So while I want the leads, of course we're getting lots of home office leads, we're a ground floor opportunity that we're sharing with our managers and directors and I want those leads to stay Winnie and Cat. I do feel that it's our responsibility as a company to be the best direct sales option that there is. So that when you're talking to recruits, when you're talking to prospects, you want them to join Winnie and Cat, and that's the business that you want to grow. I think that some of these policies are not really enforceable. So by keeping things like this in the policies and procedures, that penalizes the rule followers and can encourage the behavior of having to kind of go underground to make things happen. Because look, we're not going to know. So whereas I want you to have your own Winnie and Cat trunk shows and focus on the company, I realize that it's my responsibility to you to provide the best possible product and the best possible company. So that's why I've decided to take out that part of our policies and procedures.